the thirteenth chord. Okay, here's the thirteenth chord. We're gonna be in the key of C for a quick moment. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Um, in music, thirteen is the highest number. So, and I know you know where I whether I, you might want to know where I get that ten, eleven, or that eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12 and 13 from, you're just going to repeat the same numbers or the same letters over. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I'm doing a C scale, by the way. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. When you get to 8, it's the same thing as a 1. So technically, you can just start over. When you, when you, when you get your 1, just call it an 8. When you get to 2, just call it a 9. And then 10 which we're not even going to use that. It's really, we use that as a three. But then you go to, uh, uh, that's your nine, or uh, your 10 rather. Then 11 is the same thing as a four. So don't ever get confused when you hear somebody saying 11th. 11th is just a four. Uh, then I'm going to a 12, which we don't call it a 12 because it's an even number. It's normally, we already use that when we say the one, three, five. 12, and then that's 13. 13 is the same as a 6, so don't get confused when you hear the term 13. You just uh, go all, use your odd numbers until you reach the number 13. But when you're trying to find the 13 itself, it's just a 6. So let me see if I can break that down a little bit more. So in other words, you gotta, you're you going to use all odd numbers. You're going to use 1, 3, 5, 7, but you got a flat to 7, so that's a flat 7. Nine, don't get confused, a nine is the same as a two, so I'm going to use a one, two. Okay, I guess I'll add some more fingers. One, three, five, seven. Then I got a nine, which is the same as a two. One, two. Then you're going to, the next odd number from a nine is going to be an 11, which is the same as a four. One, two, three, four. So that's a nine. 11 is a four. Uh, then you got a 13 in there somewhere. This is 11. So that would be 12. Oh, 13 is the same as a 6. So 1, I'm going to keep C, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, which is uh, A in this case. So I got 1, 3, 5, flat 7, because we always flat to 7 uh, in every chord except for the major chord. So if it was like a, a, a major 13 chord, we wouldn't flat to 7. But since it's not a major chord, we're going to always flat to 7. So 1, so since we're doing a, a 13 chord, it's 1, 3, 5. Use the odd numbers. Flat 7. Then a 9, which is the same as a 2. And 11, which is the same as a 4. And then a 13, which is the same as a 6. Okay. Now, that's not normally how we play it, but that's theoretically the, uh, the 13 chord. Okay, but now, now let's show you how to really play it. Let's get real with you for a moment here. Uh, we're doing a C13. Uh, let's see here how I want to show you this. Uh, this is one way to do it here. It's going to be a 13 chord right there. Um, so we got to compare that with what we did here. Okay, so here, in this case here, we are going to, since we're doing a C13, um, we're going to put this C, we're going we're gonna to do like we did on the 11th chord. We're going to omit the 3. Here's your 3, which is 1, 3, 5 flat seven. Take this three out. In other words, omit it. So it looked like my finger is on the E, but that's just because I have my finger is positioned. But I'm not really playing the E. I just took the third out. I omitted it. So, um, so now what I have here, and I'm going to grab this B flat with my right hand. On the left hand, I have the one and a five, but I have no three. I just omitted it. 
So I'm gonna move this whole left hand down a whole down a few couple octaves to make it kind of deep. So you got a one and a five. And remember, where it's a three, we omitted it. Okay, now you got a seven, which is B flat. I'm gonna bring this whole chord down the octave. Remember, I just got B flat, D, F, A, which is nothing but our we got one, omit three, and a five, then here's a seven, nine. 11, 13. I'm just going to bring the 7, 9, 11, 13. I just brought it down the octave. So what you're going to do, you're going to say, um, uh, you know what I did? Actually, I omitted that 3, didn't I? But what we're going to do, I'm going to put that 3 back in there, but in, in just a moment, I'm going to put it back in there, but not in the left hand. See this note here? This F Ask yourself what number that is. That's an 11, okay? But we're trying to, we want, since we're doing a 13th chord, we want the, the 13th itself to stand out because we got so many notes. That's your 13, which is the same as a 6. We want it to stand out, to be recognized as a 13th chord. So even though this is technically right, this note here, this um, 11, that's really, which is a four. We actually gonna omit that one, so that it'll be distinguished clearly from a, uh, uh, so it won't be uh, uh, mixed up with an eleventh chord, because we want it to be distinguished. We want the thirteenth and eleventh chord to be distinguished from each other. So therefore, in this case, I'm gonna omit the eleven, or in other words, omit the four, because eleven and four is the same thing. But remember that third that we omitted down here. With this finger that was an 11, I'm going to take it down to the 3. Now, I'm going to see if I can explain that a little bit clearer for those of you who, who didn't, uh, or th those that I didn't make it clear enough to. So that's your 11, which is the same as a 4. And just take that 4 and move it to a 3. And we call this 4 the 11. Like I said, I'm moving from 11 to a 3. It's the same thing as from a 4 to an 11. So technically... I didn't omit the three. I just put it in the right hand in a different place around on the keyboard. And the four, or shall I say the eleventh, is what we omitted since we wanted to be distinguished from a thirteen chord. So technically, here's a thirteen chord. That's a C thirteen chord. Uh, there are a couple of more ways to do the thirteen chord, but this just the one I'm gonna get you used to right here for right now. That's a C thirteen chord. And I think the best way to learn the 13 chords, or just to learn it this way anyway, is just to once you learn and understand the theory or the concept in the key of C, then you just take everything up a half step. See, watch my left hand go up a half step. Watch this note go up a half step, up a half step, up a half step, up a half step. Now I'm at the D flat 13 chord, or sometimes some people call it the C sharp 13. So I'm going to go back down to the C13. Okay, D flat 13. Same as the C sharp 13. Then I'm going to move up a half step. Just move everything up. But you have to do them slow. I'm going to do it. So I'm back at the D flat 13. We'll move it up each one by one when you're first trying to learn how to do it. So I move each one up a half step. And you can go a lot slower if you want to just to start off. And then... Uh, of course, because of time, I got to move a little faster. So um, I'm moving up a half step. Now I'm at the E flat 13. I'm trying to go a little slower, but I still got to move on. That's your E 13, using the same principle as I did in the key of C. I'm moving up a half step. I'm trying to do it slow. Okay, that's the F 13. Okay, I'm going to F sharp 13. Then I'm going to a G13. Then I'm moving up to A flat 13. Then I'm moving up to A13. Moving up to A sharp, or shall I say B flat 13. Then I'm going up a half step to a B13. Then I'm going to move back up to my C13 again. And I'm just going down half steps. These 13 chords are used a lot in uh, jazz and 
gospel, and uh, a lot of other genres use it also too. A lot of different styles of music. So just take your time and get used to it They're real good in the KFC. And I just recommend, of course, you can go through the whole theory thing I did in every key. Because it actually helps you to understand the chords better and better. But when you're actually applying it, just practice them. And just practice them kind of slow until you get very, very comfortable with them. That's the 13th chord. 